Good morning. It's Friday. We're at week five. Look how nice our sunflowers are coming up. We send them out. Those are coming up nice. And we got a whole bunch of kale sprouts. We go all the way down to right in here where we have a lot of wheat grass coming up. And then over here, it's not really coming up. Uh, not all that much. The moringa's doing good. We've got five moringas planted in that bed. We've got some, this is echinacea. And then our snow peas are coming up. Yesterday, we plucked all this out here to make a driveway in. And that's where I found the rattlesnake. Uh, kind of got the greenhouse 60% uh, built. So, we got stuff still coming up. Our cucumbers are going to get in the ground today. And this other tomato plant in the ground. Some dill we already got planted. I'm going to move some plants over here. But <coughs> we got this all cleared out ready to go so we're gonna make our driveway come in right through here and it's gonna hook up right about where the blazers are the explorers at and it's gonna come around and then eventually our bus is gonna be back there um so yeah we had a pretty good week considering how three or four days we're just dealing with wind uh, started moving all the rocks again. <laughs> um, this time towards the back of the greenhouse. We're going to clear this out probably by Monday. Um, Farmer's Almanac says everything we're going to be planting left to plant goes in around April 1st through the 14th. And that's where this is. This is all going to be uh, row gardening. So... Back to our swell thing. You can see I've got it going down. Now it comes over here, right here, overflows into this rider. Dog out. Come. And all these sage you see eventually get broke down like that, so we're gonna put it in. Um, but it's gonna come. That last berm you see right there is gonna come all the way up to right here. And um, it'll all to be tied in. Then we'll fence off this. And that's going to be our main garden for this year. You can see where I put the line. Um, that's the last well coming in. We've decided to pop these because apparently these little holes where rattlesnakes like to go. That's what I dug up yesterday. <laughs> um, and there's that. Let me give you an update on some of the blooms. We have going on out right here. The brittle bush is in bloom right now. Um, I'm gonna go look at our potatoes. Oh, they're coming up. And our beets. More potatoes in the back. These were planted like two weeks after, but they're already sprouting. We transplanted our lettuce over here. We got carrots coming up. Our spinach hadn't popped yet. But I'm sure it will. But let's walk down into the wash. And, so y'all can see the green that we have. We got a silly boy. So down here, it's almost like a different world. Lower moisture. And as you can see, everything is a lot more greener. I love them, but let's go to our goji berry. This goji berry here. Now, there's one over on the other thing where it is just loaded with little berries that are coming, and this one is too. It's getting them. There's one. Let's see if I can. Right there's one. So those are all turned into goji berries. Ryder, come. So one thing I wanted to show you this morning 
was our brittle bushes in bloom. We're gonna go through and do some harvesting. So brittle bush is good for um, allergies. You can make a tincture out of it for allergies with the flower and the leaves. And that's what we're gonna be harvesting today. Spider, come. <coughs> There he goes. <laughs> lizard trails. They're everywhere. We get these big lizards out here. Don't know what they are yet. Um, haven't really paid much attention. To, or hadn't really looked them up. Oh, wow. Look at that bloom. I didn't notice that. That is a pretty bush. Can't wait to see it bloom. And the mesquite are all coming back to life. And those will give us flour, beans, um, cooking stuff. I'm working on getting to the brittle bush. Ryder, hell. So this is the brittle bush. Good boy. Right here. Good boy. Isn't it been pretty? Yellow flowers. And we got those on our property, but that one's in full bloom. Dog out. What else did we got up here that I can show you? More brittle bush and Starting to bloom. Oh, what do we got walking through here? Yesterday we found tracks of javelinas and rabbits. So we got to start taking protection on. Come. I'll show you something else we found. Um, and we got several of these on our property, too. These are called Mormon tea. So apparently, you can boil these and make a tea out of them. That uh, kind of jacks you up. Uh, I haven't tried it yet, um, but I will. So, come. That is an ephedrine plant. Um, ephedra. Now, granted, it doesn't have ephedrine or pseudoephedrine in it, but it's still a um, ephedrine plant. Uh, the more it's called Mormon tea, from what I read, is because the Mormons can drink it without breaking their their restrictions. Um, no caffeine, no toxins or something, no stimulants or something like that in their body, so they can they can drink it. Um, which is kind of ironic because the warnings on it is may cause high blood pressure. <laughs> but look at this big mesquite. But that's what we're doing in the homestead. Uh, let's see if there was any other. There were several things I wanted to show you guys, but I never remember. Oh, the lupines are in bloom. We're slowly discovering, eventually, this is where our bus is going to end up. And it's right in here, over here. So we're going to put a path in, coming in, and this is where we're going to park our bus. Then we'll build a desert uh, garden over here, rock wall, and um, go from there. But anyway... Uh, Okatillas are up. Getting nice leaves out of So apparently we're having a pretty wet spring. Got the indicators. You know, uh, <laughs> if that's a wet spring, I don't know what uh, non-wet looks like. Um, upside is we're supposed to get rain Monday and Tuesday. 
pretty good chances of it too from what i understand and uh we're looking forward to that see if our swells work either way we go we'll know our swells work next week because we're going to be getting um water delivery and the excess water that we can't put in storage tanks we're going to flood the garden to see which way the water flows uh, make sure i've got that set up right so i'll try to do a video when we're doing that just so we could either watch my success or failure together <laughs> oh update on the blooms they're still trying to bloom get big though i can't wait to see these flowers they're going to be huge um and again i think they're kind of brown and cream color rider come he keeps sniffing around over there with the, i dug up the snake and right here is where i dug up the snake <laughs> in this mound he was down there yeah so now dana's paranoid about coming out here <laughs> i told her don't be right. by the time we get this all cleared it, you can see the silhouettes of a snake pretty well at least that's my thinking. And again, the color contrast. Um, but, oh, we got gifted in an old rabbit cage that we're gonna try to refurbish into a chicken coop <laughs> in the move. Like I said, we um, sprouted corn. So in this row here, we're gonna try to do corn and squash and, um, turnips and um rutabagas so we'll have some floric goodies in here but other than that things are going good um oh look at these guys Damn blooms are huge they're gonna be cool and it really looks like this mandalaria is getting ready and see all the berries that are coming on it. Anyway, we love you guys. Um, be good to one another. And try to stay positive.